at this place in history. We're at Court Square in Middlebury with Steve Perkins, the executive director of the Vermont Historical Society. Now, Steve, quite a few notable things have taken place here. So which one brings us here this week? Well, Mike, you're right. Uh, many notable things. This is uh, the site of the Addison County Courthouse, or one, one of them. Um, and a lot of things happened in that courthouse. It was the seat of the legislature for a few sessions. Um, but we're going to talk about a very famous court case. Theophilus Harrington was a farmer, lived in Clarendon, uh, Vermont, uh, not trained in the law. He was born in Rhode Island. He served in the Revolutionary War and ultimately settled um, here in Vermont, served as Speaker of the House of Representatives, um, and was elected to the Supreme Court. We, we used to elect our Supreme Court. He was a large man, a gruff man, uh, usually went barefoot in the court. At least that's what uh, written in, in the histories. And um, uh, lawyers would say he you didn't know he was really listening. You, were, you weren't <laughs> sure. He never wrote anything down. He never kept any notes. The case we're talking about here took places, we're, we're pretty sure, 1804. Um, and it was about a, a, an enslaved person had escaped to Vermont. And I think we all know from various uh, programs we've done here, Vermont had in its constitution, there's yes. uh, no adult slavery in the state of Vermont. And um, the slave owner had come to Vermont uh, to track this person down um, and it actually detained them. Yeah, there were such things as fugitive slave laws back then. The, the slave owner came to the court. And said, I am taking this person, it's my personal property, and um, I'm going to introduce the bill of sale. Bill of sale for a human being were not admissible in Vermont um, because slavery is outlawed in the, in the Constitution. So Theophilus Harrington knew this. The judge you know, says, no, uh, this, is, this is not enough. I need more, more evidence. And the, the guy's like, well, how much more evidence, you know, what kind of bill of yeah. sale do I need? And uh, Justice Harrington said something along the lines of, like, only a bill of sale signed by the Lord Almighty himself will suffice. And if I'm understanding correctly, we don't actually know that those were his exact <laughs> words, because uh, I think you may have alluded to this earlier, he didn't write very much of his own legal opinions down. Uh, he didn't write them down, and a lot of people heard it. Versions of that show up throughout the 19th century. And then it was used by abolitionists. It found its way into abolitionist tracts um, and pamphlets. It was actually engraved onto a plaque in Westminster Abbey in England in support of the abolition movement. So he was widely um, quoted and celebrated throughout the 19th century. Of course, well after his death, the state of Vermont even uh, appropriated $400 to build a monument um, in the cemetery down in Clarendon where he's buried. What's engraved into that monument um, speaks to his, his, his words. I'm gonna have to read it here for you, but it says on his monument, he sleeps on the hills, no slave ever trod, nor claimant brought bills from Almighty God. A legal bar too high to jump over set in Middlebury at this place in history.